Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're doing a quick thrift uh, trip. My favorite thrift store is having a $5 bag sale. So we're gonna go in and see what we can get. And I am drinking apple cider from Duncan. It's very good. Okay, bye. This is the little thrift store we're going into. It's like a little, um, it's in a little church. And just want to show you guys how pretty, how pretty the trees look. And this is Daisy. Hi, girls. Can you tell they miss me? Hi. I only live a half hour away from my mom, but I bought a house this March and I miss my dogs dearly. So I think we're going to go for a little walk. really beautiful here and I never ever get sick of it Hey everyone, I'm back home now, and um, if you watched the previous clip, uh, you might have seen a couple of little vlog style um, clips of me going to the thrift store and all of that. I'm trying to get into vlogging and I'm really enjoying it. I love the creative aspect of it. Um, I think it's really fun to film and put together on iMovie. I'm really enjoying that process. Um, but I also want to do like a thrift with me and film in the store. I just always feel so awkward taking my phone out. So that actually was the plan for today. But then when I got in the store, I just, I got distracted because I was looking for things and I also just got nervous to film. So hopefully I will do that soon. Um, if you're coming back to my channel, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Shannon. I'm a full-time online reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. And uh, my closet name is Shanny Sells, S-H-A-N-N-Y-S-E-L-L-S. -E um, and today I have a thrift haul for you guys, which you probably guessed from the title and from everything else that you saw. That's Renfield in the background. You're gonna hear him kind of walking around a bit and I'm having a bad hair day, so just ignore that. Uh, anyway. Getting right into it. So today I went to my favorite thrift store um, near my mom's house, which is a half an hour uh, away from me. And it's my favorite. It's a church thrift store, so all the proceeds go to the church. And um, they have a $5 bag sale once a month. So I went to that. I didn't find a ton of things at that store brand-wise. I bought everything today mainly for style. And then after that, I went to my second favorite store, which is, it's a um, charity shop. I want to call it, I think they're a nonprofit. I'm not really sure. 
basically they get donations and they don't charge any money for the thrifted items they just are donation based only so you can choose how much you want to donate so I basically I always um, when I go there I always donate a bag of clothes or two three bags however many I have and then I also give them money so I donated ten dollars today and two bags of clothes for them so without further ado I'm gonna start um, in this bag here so this is all from the second store the charity shop um, so actually let me show this first so this is the fav my favorite thing that I found today um, and it's a mod cloth cactus bag and it's so freaking cute it has this little opening and it looks like that and it's from mod cloth um, I just think it's so cute it's in like perfect condition it looks like it's barely been worn crossbody this is perfect for like vacation I'm actually going to Florida in November so I might um, bring this with me but I'm gonna be listing it for sale in my Poshmark closet and if it doesn't sell by then I will bring it with me um, and all of these items by the way will be listed within a day or two maybe three days at the most I'm pretty quick at listing um, so also at that store I found this awesome vintage leather embossed belt and it is a size what size is this 32 um, there looks to be a brand stamped on here, but I can't read it. It says made in Mexico. Definitely real leather. It's got that cool distressed look, which I love. And that's really awesome. Um, I found a pair of just plain black dance go clogs. Um, they're in pretty good condition. They have a couple of spots where there's wear, but someone who's maybe a nurse or works in a restaurant will appreciate these and they always do well on selling online they always do well for me i got these uh j41 which is a an outdoor like hiking adventure brand and it's from the company jeep they make this brand i might keep these i'm not really a pink person but i tried them on and they are so comfortable and i do really love a nice mary jane uh so they're like in really good condition i might list them if i do I will put that, I'll list it up on everywhere. I think it's, I think they're a six and a half because they fit me. I don't see a size, but I might keep these. Um, you might hear me say that a lot today. <laughs> All right, I got two pairs of um, black denim mom shorts. Here's the first pair. They are a Levi's brand. I've never heard of their denims in. Modern straight by Levi's. And they've got this cool fraying on the bottom. Don't mind the dog hair. Um, everything gets steamed before I send it out, so. These I picked up. I thought that they were cool. I think they're vintage. They're leather mittens, and they have this interesting... I think these clip up to your ski jacket or snowboarding jacket, and they have the thing that um, connects the mittens. And it's a brand called... Brando. I'm not really sure, but they're very soft and they kind of reminded me of the 80s. So I liked those. So I picked them up. I picked up this J. Crew um, black leather crossbody bag. And now that I'm looking at it, I think there might possibly be a piece missing on the closure here, but I will further investigate and uh, disclose that in the listing if that's the case and it's J. Crew, nice black crossbody bucket bag and next item is for some reason I can't find the other one right now but I picked up these uh, ski gloves they say US ski team um, I also thought these were really cool motorcycle gloves. I actually picked them up thinking that's what they were until I saw the ski team. They're really warm. They're real leather. So winter's coming, unfortunately. So I'll be listing winter items for people. All right, second pair of mom shorts. High-waisted. Really awesome. I don't know the brand. It says they're an 1112. 
They have a very high rise. They look like the black denim Levi's mom shorts, but they don't have a Levi's tag. They're not Levi's. Um, I picked up this hat by the brand Ping, P-I-N-G. I don't know the brand, but I like the style of hat. It's got some fraying there, and it's like that military style, I believe is what that's called. I picked this item up for myself. It is Forever 21, and it's got these beautiful, what look like fall flowers to me. They remind me of mums, and I love mums. And it's just Forever 21, but it's super cute, and I was thinking this could um, go really nicely with a long, chunky cardigan over it and some boots. Um, the next item is probably one of the better brands I found. It's Neiman Marcus. And this is almost like, it's a very long, it's not going to be easy to show. It's like a swim cover-up almost, and it's a really long style. I almost want to say muumuu. It's like a muumuu dress with this tribal print. Um, if I can find a stock photo, I'm going to try because it's really hard to show. <clears throat> I got this shirt, and I believe this may be a band. I have to do some research, but either way, it's a cool shirt. And it says humans and us, and it has like a geometric deer, and it looks like someone cut this themselves, so it's like that awesome handmade look. Oh, and I just realized, so one of the sides is, has this cool colored stitching, and the other side is not like that, which I think is really cool. So I'll look that up and see um, if that's a band or what that is, and even if it's not, I think people will wear it. This is super cool. Um, now, before I do these videos, I don't usually do too much research on the brands, um, which I probably should do. This I don't know anything about this brand. If you do, let me know. The brand is Grace Karen, and it's a size medium, and it's this amazing um, 50s style, like, fit and flare skirt. I don't even know it's a medium and I can see this like worn kind of higher waisted with a crop top it's just so cool I love that okay another amazing item and this is an official Boy Scouts um, button-up shirt and it has like the Bobcats it has a number here it says three two seven it's got the Patches on the side, quality unit 2003, 100% boys life, official youth shirt, it's a youth large, definitely could be worn by a women's small, Boy Scouts of America, I just think that's awesome, I think there might be a small tear, I found it before, I can't find it now, but if I do, I will make sure to list that, um, another item I might be keeping is this super cute, very soft um it's like a checkered grid shirt and I'm pretty sure it's vintage the brand is sport Haley that tag looks pretty old it's a size small I might be keeping that once I try it on if it doesn't fit me the way I would like I will list it um, the next one is the brand E-C-O-T-E. -E. I think this might be a good brand. I'm not totally sure. Again, I don't research before I do this, so I might end up posting this and then being like, oh, this is a really good brand. But it's a size small, and it's a lovely fall-colored dress with this beautiful stitching detail. Yeah, it's really cute. You can see that with some boots. Um, Another brand I'm not too sure of, but they say Made in Turkey, and I'm not going to try to pronounce this brand, T-A-I-K-O-N-K-U, so I will do research on that, but these are some awesome black pants with sweet buttons, <laughs> and really nice, like, piping on the side, and then chunky buttons on the back. They, these are great for, like, career pants, and I think they're cropped, um... I work from home, so I don't really have anywhere fancy to wear these, but if they fit me, I might be tempted to keep. I feel like I'm saying I'm keeping everything, but 
don't let me keep everything. Okay, this is from a boutique, um, and it is a size large, and it's this really pretty, it's actually a romper with, these are amazing bell sleeves, look at those, and it is a size large, and it has the nice cross detail, um, very fall color. Um, this I actually did pick up for myself depending on how it fits. Another awesome fall color. It's Forever 21, so nothing amazing, but I love the stitching and it really reminds me of the 60s. It's like a 60s mod dress. Picked up this little Neff, which I think is a Zoomies brand. Cupcake hat. How cute. Um, this was probably the best brand I found between besides Mod Cloth and Neiman Marcus, and it is Free People, and I actually didn't think this was Free People until I saw the tag, um, and I want to say this is sort of a kimono, it's got lace detail and very light, like almost watercolor flowers, and it's a size small. picked up this um, tie-dye shirt, tunic shirt, with these awesome wide sleeves, and I don't know the size, I'll have to measure it. I got this Varsity Yankee jacket. It's in like awesome condition. It looks barely worn. It's a large, I think it might be a women's large. Um, there's nothing on the back, just plain, but it's really nice. I would wear it if I was a baseball fan, but I'm not, so. But I do love a good varsity jacket. Okay, I picked this up and I don't normally pick up BCBG anymore. This is BCBG Max Azaria and it's a size 10. Um, but I love, love the style of this dress, and it is long, and I can totally see someone buying this for, like, a Halloween costume even, like, a Victorian-style Halloween costume, maybe a Renaissance costume. Color is, like, a deep red. It's, like, a wine red. It's perfect, actually, too, for, like, a, um, if you decide to dress up as, like, a Western saloon girl, I can see this jack, or this dress <laughs> being perfect. Um, okay, I'm almost through the first bag and this video is gonna be long, but that's okay. Okay, this one I must have unbuttoned, so give me one second. It's gonna look better buttoned. Um, this is a vintage brand, I believe. Yeah, it's Allison Taylor, I don't know. Picked this up for style. I just thought it was really beautiful and Again, it has sort of a bell sleeve, tiny bell sleeve. It's a medium. I also think this would be nice for Halloween costume when I saw it. It kind of reminded me of like a vampire, <laughs> vampire costume that could work. <clears throat> I got this very cute. Um, and I did not look up the brand again, but <clears throat> I think this might be a good brand. The brand is Dale Casual. Just by the tag, I feel like this might be worth money. I could be totally wrong, but it's a chunky, like, I wanna say kind of Western. I don't really know, Southwestern, not really, but it's a really pretty chunky cardigan with big buttons and that's really cool. Um, I also got, this tray, which I might be selling or I might be keeping, I don't know yet. Um, it's nice for like your bathroom for soaps or anything like that. And I got this item for um, an Instagram giveaway I'm doing. And it's a glass leaf for fall. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you really should. My Instagram is Shani Sells. You probably could have guessed. But I'm doing a giveaway of fall home decor that I have thrifted. I'm putting together a few unique items. And um, when I reach a thousand followers, I will be doing that giveaway. So make sure to look out for that. 
This is cute. It does have a little, the leaf came off. But besides that, it's, you know, still in good condition. Um, okay. That is the first bag of items. Moving on to the second bag, which I'm trying to put this stuff away, but probably should just wait and do that. Okay. The next, um, the next bag is from the church thrift store, the first stop today. I got a lot of vintage items. Um, so this is a, and I just want to make sure it's not a two-piece before I tell you the wrong thing. No, it's a dress. Okay. It's a vintage, beautiful dress. The brand is Jody Michaels. I'm not familiar, but I just picked it up for style. I think it's really stunning. Um, and it has a tie, so you can make it a little more flattering around your, around your waist. Um, it's beautiful, and I'm not doing it justice right now, but you can see the detailing on there. It's uh, truly beautiful, and I picked it up, and yeah, I it called out to me, I should say. Um, same with this shirt. The brand is JS Collections Petite. I don't know with the brand, anything about that brand, but look at this beautiful top. It is velvet, it has ruching detailing, very flattering um, around there. It has this really amazing collar, it's like a pointed collar, and as well as on the sleeves. The back is just plain velvet, it's like a, it's like a deep purple color and it's truly beautiful. Um, so that was a really cool find. I picked up this 525 America, have to look that up, um, beautiful tunic with kind of a small wide sleeve, I wouldn't call it a bell sleeve, but this is very 70s to me, um, and I love the detailing on it, colors, awesome. Okay, next item is another vintage. The brand is R&M Richards by Karen Wong. And it is a long tunic um, or just a long shirt. You could probably even wear this oversized. I loved the sun and the button detailing. I picked it up based on style. It does have shoulder pads, but you could probably take them out if you wanted to. Um, it's like a deep red color. And I thought it was silk, but it's not. It's, I believe it's rayon, rayon and acetate. So it's really pretty. I picked up this chunky fall sweater. And I have seen a lot of people calling these like Cosby sweaters, which I think is so funny. Um, I don't know if this is exactly a Cosby sweater but it kind of reminds me of him, so. With um, buttons on the side, and it's just really cute. I got this shirt, which reminds me of Halloween. T-shirt with the solar system and just some cool detailing. Picked up this fall item. It's a zip-up vintage plaid fall jacket very lightweight um big button or big uh pockets on the front i like the colors um it's a size size small really like that these are simple they're just levi's uh 515 capri in excellent condition. It was the bag sale, so I just picked those up. I'm sorry. Um, Christmas is coming, so I got this Christmas sweater with these little cardinals on it. I recently sold a Woolrich sweater which had cardinals on it, and you just never know what you're gonna sell, so pick it up. Um, this is a nice fall vest. 
another vintage item with nice button detailing and it has little like irons on it and just random little pictures. I got this for my office, which is where I am right now, for a garbage can because I needed one. We're almost done. This just reminded me of like early 2000s or the 90s. It's just pretty lace flattering top, vintage. Um, I think I'm keeping this because I need some more nightwear items and I thought that was really found this other nightwear tank top which I think I'm also keeping pretty and there is a few more items in there over here okay I found these awesome vintage nine west um, loafers vintage nine west block heel just super cute. They're a size seven. They're also square toed, which I know is in. So square toe block heel. There's some good keywords. Um, I don't normally pick up kids stuff, but when at a bag sale, you kind of just pick stuff up. And these are in great condition. I think these could also fit a women's foot. Actually, they are a five and a half uh, US youth. I think they're boys sneakers I believe they're vans vans always sell really well so could be an easy like $25 right there this is really pretty um, and very different it's vintage it's small it's made in the Philippines I don't know the brand even if I told you what it was it's velvet and it's a dress and it has these amazing sleeves just look how cool those are they're so different I've never seen anything like this um, so I had to get that, and it's a size small, but the measurements will be posted for the vintage items. And that actually is everything, so I think I did really well today, um, especially at the, uh, free store, or donation-based only, I should say. I did really well, so I'll be listing these probably, um, within a day or so, a day to three days, on Poshmark, eBay, some of them will be cross-listed over to Mercari and Depop, depending on the item. Um, I put more of the vintage items on Depop. But when I list them, I will be putting everything on Instagram. So if you see anything you're interested in after watching the video, you can always message me. I also accept Venmo or PayPal as payment if you don't have any of those sites. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later.